Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Urinary. Welcome to Crochet Podcast, episode 102. Thank you so much for inviting me over. If you are new to this channel, my name is Krista, and that is my secret urinary. Those are my finished objects over there. This channel is all about crochet and crochet related goodness. There's a podcast on Saturdays, a new tutorial on Sundays, Tip Tuesday on Tuesdays, and a live chat every Friday. So if any of that is of interest to you, consider hitting the subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside that so you don't miss out on any more fun videos just like this. Normally I start with finished objects, but I only have one. Very small one. So I'm gonna show you the evolution of my finished object, which is kind of like whips. I haven't sewn in my tails, so they're not really finished, but I wanna show you what I did this week. Started with the tissue box I made last week. So I will link that podcast up in the cards. You can go check it out, it's gorgeous. And I wanted to film it in maybe like different colors or a different, well, just not the exact same, right? So I'm like, wouldn't it be nice to have like a little yellow flower? That'd be cute, right? With a nice green, the nice yellow, and most of it perhaps in turquoise, because that's a fun color. So I did that and then I'm like, well, I like it now. <laughs> now I think it's great. At the time, I'm like, it's not what I'm looking for. It's not what I'm looking for. I don't know if it was like the turquoise is like, much happier so bright outside right let me see if i can dial this down so to make the tissue box cover i'm like oh that'd be so cute for the colors and everything like a little more turquoise a little more vibrant i'm like that's really cute but i'm like is it too loud is it too like kindergarten so i came up with that nice chocolate brown now this is that gorgeous brown I was using to make dirt for my plants, that ice yarn that I felt bad using. So I frogged back some dirt to make some granny squares, which I love. So that is gonna be a little tissue box and I'll do a tutorial for it, but I just wanted it ready to go with a little center piece at the top. If you haven't seen this one, it is in last week's podcast. I'll link that up in the cards as well. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about with that one. So that is ready to go. I really like the colors. I like the brown. I think it helps the flower look like the star of the, you know, the star of the show with a background instead of the background competing with the flower. Then for, I thought I could use this for a tutorial just for the granny square but the thumbnail didn't look too good hmm. that could be my camera and all that but it, i didn't like the look of it i'm like i don't want that's not that's not what i want to go to for my colors so i started trying to work on other colors i'm like what if we did like a oops now i haven't done my ends on any of these but what if i did like a purple because that's great and purple always films so nicely. It looks nice for, for tutorials and thumbnails, but I'm like, it's a bit dark. That's a bit like, you know, so I did the lilac instead with a dark center. And I'm like, ah, it's still not right. I'm like, what if we did turquoise? Because turquoise is always happy. Yellow is always happy. This would look great in a kitchen, right? Like such cute colors for that. But for a thumbnail, I'm like, what if the yellow's like washed out? You know, you're not really gonna see the flower. So then I'm like, what if hmm, I do this one? Now this is my finished object, by the way. There she is in all her beauty. So yellow with a coral, with a gorgeous pink, with my gorgeous green, and then just edged in white. I'm like, that is the flower. That's the flower, that's what I want but I still tried a couple more. <laughs> I'm like, what about purple? Hmm? I'm like, that's still cute. I mean, that is cute. When I look at it here with you, that looks cute. And then I also did a darker purple, but I'm like, no, 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 no. That's the cute flower right there. So this is finished object of the week. 
also going to be question of the day at the end of the video. So question of the day, you win a pattern. And the question is, what would you call this granny square? As far as I've gotten is easy flower granny square. So not that creative, gotta tell you. If you have any ideas what to call it, let me know in the comments down below. Super dark, right? So I'm gonna show you the rest of my colors and then I'm gonna fix my lighting. <laughs> so these are the colors I picked for the upcoming cow. So we hatched a plan last week for a granny square a month, a floral granny square every month. So these are the delicious colors I picked. So a dark and a light of each kind of color that I'm gonna be using for my English garden. And the green for the flowers and the light green for the edging. All the rest can be mixed and matched for the flowers. Love it. This is mostly favorites from ICRs with some Softly Baby and also some Kenyan acrylic mixed in there just to find the right shade. So if you have some yarn on hand to get together for your English garden blanket or whatever kind of garden you wanna make for your blanket, this was my inspiration. So those are the colors I was going for. But whatever colors you want to use would be great and kind of start getting them together. We will be starting that cal in September. Yes, I have a whole plan. We're gonna start the cal in September and then we're gonna finish in May. So it's gonna be a crochet along, but not like from January all the, all the way through until December. It's gonna be from like when I start doing my tutorials all the way through until summer holidays. So love my colors. I just want to carry it around the house and just admire them. There's like everything. It's like so many possibilities in here. It's like finger painting for a kid. Love it. Now I want to do. Oop, now I can fix my lighting. <laughs> now I want to fix my lighting. Other way around. There we go. Now I want to do some shout outs to our new channel members. If you haven't joined, there are links for that underneath this video. It's kind of where the subscribe button would be. There's a join. You can click on that and see which option's best for you if you're interested. So I wanna say a big hello, welcome, and thank you to Lanny, Susanna, Sharon, Sarah, Tyra, Debbie, Lynn, Cherry, Cozy Fox, Lucy, Katrina's Crochet World, Candace, Anna, Phyllis, Maureen, Nude Ice Yarns, Brittany, Sarbear, Christine, and Susan. So thank you so much for becoming members. And if that's something you're interested in joining as well, that link is underneath this video somewhere. Oh, under here, <laughs> over here, somewhere down there. <laughs> oh, also a shout out, particularly to you, Lori Hobson. Send me an email, Krista at secretyarnery.com. She is a new family member and we have to get her hooked up with the WhatsApp group and all that. So send me an email and I'll get you into that WhatsApp group. And you can also book your 15 minute one-on-one -on -one private video chat. Can't wait to chat with you. So not much else is new. Did a little puzzle on the weekend, loved it. I think puzzling is very good for fine tuning your eye for color, like the different tones. If you have a bunch of blues and you're only looking at the blues, you can see the ones that are kind of purpley, the ones that are kind of gray, the ones that are kind of turquoise, and you can kind of separate them easier and easier the more puzzles you do. So I think that really helps pick colors, both good and bad, because I think that's another reason why I've had such a hard time picking colors or shades for my flowers. It's like, it's just not that, it's not right. It's like missing a little bit of gray, a little bit of turquoise, a little bit of something. The shades are a little bit off. I'm happy with the end result. I'm happy with my cute little flower, don't get me wrong, but getting here took me days and a lot of trial and a lot of error. So. But here's that puzzle I was doing this week. Isn't that cute? It's the book palace. So that was really fun. All the postcards to do, the chairs. There's three cats in there. Really pretty flowers, really pretty vase. The banister was the hardest part. It looks very similar, but the lights are cool. The ceiling's great. So totally enjoyed this one. I'll put a link to it down below if you're also a puzzler. And this is the puzzle. Another little fun thing for you to think about or just to ponder, I suppose, depending where you are in the world, maybe it's the same as it is here or it's completely different. Here in Nairobi, if you don't know, I live in Nairobi, Kenya. And here we call knitting and crochet the same thing. They don't say, crochet really at all. They all call it knitting. 
So this is in our newspaper from a couple months ago, February, so a few months ago, but it says hooked on knitting. No. Yeah, hooked on knitting, but all of it is crochet. That's all crochet. So, but they use the word knitting referencing crochet. Like my husband calls it knitting, his parents call it knitting, everybody calls it knitting. You're like, oh, knitting with the hook, right? I guess they don't have a word for crochet, I don't know. But, it's, but here it's called knitting. So if you're a knitter and you're frustrated when people call crochet knitting, I know there's a little bit of like, it's not rivalry or whatever, but I know some knitters are super proud of like knitting, like I'm a knitter. And if you said they're crocheting, uh, they'd be insulted from my, <laughs> from my um, experiences. I'm not saying everybody's like that, but some people are. But here, all crochet is called knitting. So I just thought that's an interesting little thing. And I know it's not, don't get me wrong. I get it. I'm a proud hooker, proud to be a crocheter. However, I do live in a culture where they call it knitting, straight up in the newspaper. So I thought that might be interesting for you as well. So now it is time to announce the winner from last week's podcast. The question from last week was what flower would you like represented in a granny square? And our winner is... Karna R. Karna R, thank you so much. So she said her favorite flower was in her wedding bouquet. It's a stargazer lily, but not sure if you could figure out how to crochet one. So she'll pick her next favorite that she actually grows in her garden, which is the sunflower. Love me a good sunflower. Well, me too, uh, Karna, and thank you so much. There was 219 unique comments. So congratulations to you. Send me an email to Krista at secretyarnery.com and I will send you my latest pattern. So question of the day, so you can have a chance to win a pattern too. This week, there are two questions you can answer. So you can enter as many times as you want. I won't put filter out duplicates, so you can comment as much as you want, answer the questions as many times as you feel like, within reason, because I'm gonna have to reply to all of them, <laughs> right? But here are the two questions. First question, what would you name this granny square? So what would you call it, other than easy flower granny square? If you have anything to add to that or make it cute or memorable, let me know. If it looks like a flower to you, that would be great. What flower does it look like? Second question, what would you call our flower granny square a month cal? What would you call that one? Hmm? Perfect would be secret garden, right? Secret urinary, secret garden. So much of it is taken. I googled it and it's like there's so many there's even like three or four crochet flower uh, blankets called secret garden we have to make it a bit unique anyway what would you call it hmm? look at those colors isn't that great I love you colors hmm. so this tutorial comes out tomorrow so super excited about that can't wait to share it with you and thank you so much for inviting me over have a super great day and we'll see you in the next video Stay hooked. Literally, there's a hair. There it is. It's unrelated. That's like a random two inch hair. Like, if I had a whisker, that could be it. Okay, well, that was weird. Glad I took the time to pick it off my face. <laughs> so we hatched a plan last week for a granny flower square a month. So oh. now I want to do some shout outs to our new channel members, right? Yeah. So this week, there's two questions you can answer. Two. Qu right. There is right. Do I look the same? Has my hair changed? My, my batteries died in my microphone. The whole thing. I got about halfway through, I don't know, I have to have a rule, new batteries every time, don't be stingy with the rechargeables. <laughs> anyway, have a super great day. <laughs> I'm gonna hope this recorded. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check it right now. Okay, the lights are on, we're good, we're good, we're golden. <sighs> don't start me on the hairdo. I try. <laughs> Stay hooked.